out to the following. Wanted to give a special shout out to the following people who just graduated Sales Academy. Jonathan Wallace, Stacey Brandon, Susie Amani, Mandy Taylor, Nick Ruggieri, Chauncey Beatty. Super excited to have you guys joining us in the field this week. And I've got a special part for you guys today, very timely with the train more. Let's see if I'm able to share my screen. Yes, I am. Great. So I wanted to talk to you guys about 12 ways to hit the reset button on your week. All right. Doesn't matter where you are in the week, you guys. If you're one of the people who wrote an eagle or if you're sitting on zero, if you're ahead of your goal, you're behind your goal, it doesn't matter. Today's a new day. It's Friday. Friday is the best day of the week. People just got paid. People are happy. People are waiting for you to come say hi to them and meet them in their business. It's time to hit that reset button on the week and have a super, super strong finish. Now, it can be tough sometimes mentally on a train more when we're hearing and seeing the stats from everyone from all the other agencies. And that negative self-talk can creep in where we feel like everybody else but me is having an amazing week. And we can sometimes start to have a little bit of a pity party start to have a little bit of a victim mindset, but I'm telling you guys, miracles happen on train wars. So even if you're sitting on zero this week, even if you're 10 or 20,000 behind your goal, more than that has been done in a day. Anything is possible if you believe it's possible and you put in the controllable activity, all right? So the difference between people who finish their week strong and really hit the reset on their week and those who don't is some people have learned and developed the tools to overcome that negative self-talk and those doubts. And they've really figured out how to have a strong finish, totally forgetting how the rest of the week is. So imagine Monday through Thursday, we're like goal periods on your goal card. And after that goal period is over, we put it out of our head. It's gone. Forget what happened, good or bad. And we have a fresh start right now. So I'm going to run you guys through 12 ideas and inspirations for how to do that today. And hopefully one or two of these things um, are helpful for you guys. So the first thing, guys, is say 10 things you're grateful for out loud. Now, the out loud part is key because it's impossible to feel grumpy and negative when you're saying positive things out loud. And it's really easy for us when we're all alone in our car by ourselves to get stuck in a spiral of negative self-talk, doubting ourselves, just all kinds of not such good stuff. And then it makes sense that if we just sat and stewed for five minutes and then we do our approach, it may not be the best approach in the world. So we're going to just stop that cycle right now. And the best thing to do is just give yourself a list of things you're grateful for. Bring it into perspective, guys. Even if you're having a micro bad moment of your, your life, your life is still pretty good, right? Look at the big picture. There's so much to be grateful for. You know, some things that could apply to anybody. You know, I am healthy. I woke up today. My family is okay. I have a place to live. My car is running. If you have heat in your car, that's a great thing this time of year. The sun is shining, you know, if, if it is, right? I have food and water, you know, I have the ability to go to work. I'm a free human being. I can do what I want to do and what I need to do. And there's tons and, and tons of things you could be grateful for, guys, but you get the point. So just shifting your focus from feeling bad for yourself to just bringing it around to all the things that have already gone right in your life, that shift in attitude is palpable and your prospects can feel it. And they'll be a lot more likely to sit down with you if you're kind of giving off those good vibes. So I promise that works. And again, it's impossible to be thinking negative thoughts while you're saying positive things out loud. All right. Similarly, something else you could do is take five minutes to meditate, be in your, feeling your body, being present, focusing on your breathing, getting yourself to calm down and focus a little bit. If you don't know how to meditate, um, lots of your leaders, you know, Zach and uh, Kyle are really into that. You can download the Headspace app and just do a little five minute session, really reset your mind, get yourself focused in. You know, think about it right now, guys, you know, sometimes our body goes into fight or flight a little bit when we're maybe a little stressed out on the job. If you just had, you know, a challenging approach, maybe if you were just talking to a, a number card out there and it wasn't the best. Our body can go into fight or flight mode a little bit, but remember, guys, we're safe. 
nothing really bad can happen to you from doing an approach. It's not like you're going into the jungle and going to get eaten by a tiger. The worst that can happen is someone says no to you. So sit in your car for a second, you know, if you're in a little bit of a headspace and just you're you're safe. You're okay. Everything is happening just the way it's supposed to. You are right where you're supposed to be today in your territory, in front of that business, as a part of this agency, as a part of this company. You could take a couple moments to say a prayer, set an intention, not asking for sales, but asking to be led to the families who need you today. Remember, there's aces in every town and there's people today who will need your products tomorrow in every single territory. I don't care where it is. So sometimes it's just a matter of getting to the right people before it's too late. And when we feel anxiety around this career, it tends to be because we're thinking a little bit too much of ourselves. We're thinking about our own feelings, what's comfortable to us. And our brains, remember guys, our brains are trying to help us survive and preserve us. And our brains are taking us down the path of least resistance. It's not natural to succeed at a high level. Our brains are just trying to help us just get by in life. So sometimes we need to <laughs> remind ourselves that we're not going to get eaten by a tiger if we go to the approach. We're going to be okay. And this is bigger than just what feels good to us. Because if all we, all we did was what felt good, we probably wouldn't have gotten out of bed this morning, right? So just focus on this is bigger than you. What you do matters and you're really helping people. And just take a moment. Remember, you can't be nervous if your heart is truly on service. So don't do this before every single approach. But if you're getting in a little bit of a funk, try meditating once or twice a day, maybe right after lunch or something, and get yourself in the right headspace to get back out there. Set yourself a little timer for five minutes. <laughs> you know, this doesn't need to be a long thing. And then when the timer goes off, just say three, two, one, go and get out of your car and go approach the next business. Item three is blast some music. So this is a great thing to do on the drive to your first stop. Or if your next business is three minutes away, you have enough time to play one song. And now, guys, here's the thing. I'm the biggest advocate for listening to continual training audios in the car. But sometimes on a Friday on a train more, you guys just need a little bit more of a boost than that. A little bit, you know just something more upbeat. And you, you guys know music is incredibly powerful. It can, if you listen to music in the gym, it can really help you lift heavier, run faster and all that stuff. So you guys have been studying all week. You've been reviewing your sales talk. You've been on these Zooms and conference calls. It's okay every once in a while to play a little bit of music instead of listening to the Elevators podcast in the car, especially on a Friday on a train where guys. So after this call, I want all of you to run to Voxer and drop your number one upbeat, uh, get psyched up song and we'll just get some some good vibes going here um, for our Fridays and then you'll walk into the next business just feeling like you just went to a concert just super super happy super energized item four get active if you're feeling a little sluggish and your brain's not really functioning and <laughs> you're just really tired from doing a whole bunch of demos this week um, get out of your car don't just sit in your car and think about doing your next approach do a couple push-ups, a couple jumping jacks, you know, maybe <laughs> run across the parking lot a little bit. And it, it might sound a little silly and you might look a little silly, but that's okay. We don't care. Um, it's going to get your blood flowing, bring you some endorphins, um, help you wake up. And then when you walk into the next business, you're going to look more alive. You're going to feel a lot better. And then bonus points, if your prospect sees you doing that, that is a great icebreaker. <laughs> so if you've been struggling with breaking the ice, if they see you doing push-ups outside of their business, there's your icebreaker right there. Item five, sometimes we need to focus on a new goal. Sometimes we need to adjust our goal. And this can kind of take two forms. So maybe your goal was to hit an eagle and you hit your eagle, but it's Friday. And that's still, you know, the week's not over. So maybe setting yourself a new goal. I want to get to 12,000 or I want to get to 15,000. Or maybe you had a family's protected goal. You wanted to protect five families and you did that. Now set your goal to six or seven families protected. On the flip side, now maybe you're behind your goal and just the thought of thinking of premium is really stressful to you. And if that's you, there's other ways to goal set. Break your goal down into smaller goals. So maybe 
focus on just getting demos, getting one demo every single goal period, or focus on just doing as many approaches as you possibly can. Because if you do enough approaches and they're good approaches, they'll turn into demos eventually. And if you talk to enough people, you will find that ace, right? Make every approach the best it can be. That's a really, really simple goal. If this is your first day, that should be your goal. Make every approach the best you can. Don't forget to break the ice. Don't forget to smile. Use a couple names and be really assumptive when asking for that sit down. That's a super simple goal and you, you can kind of check it off every couple of minutes because you keep accomplishing it, okay? Remember guys, this is a time sensitive career. Time is of the essence. We don't have the luxury of getting to put off cancer until it's convenient. So don't be sitting in your car feeling bad for yourself. Even if your goal seems totally out of reach, readjust your goal. Instead of thinking about premium, think about controllable activity. That's really all we can control. If you get your two out of three, if you do your demos and talk to people and use your sales talk, the premium and the families protected will happen. They will take care of itself, all right? So um, you can get something positive out of every interaction. Another good goal might be just every approach, make somebody smile. That's a win. You're brightening someone's day. You might get an appointment. You might get an enrollment. You might get a family protected. You might get a demo. You might get an intro. You can get something good from every single approach. So if you need to readjust your goal because it's kind of stressing you out, um, do that, but don't give up on your goals completely. Maybe just reframe it into something that makes more sense for where you're at at this point in the week. Number six is check the script. Now, this doesn't need to be something that takes up a ton of time in the middle of the workday, but if you feel like your rhythm's a little bit off or there's one part of the sales conversation where you feel like you, you go off track every single time at that spot, then next time you're in your vehicle or if you have your script on your iPad, just check that spot. If your approach is feeling a little weird or your buying atmosphere, just review that one part so that next time you get to that part, it feels a lot smoother and you're kind of practicing as you go. That will really help you feel a lot more confident and it's a lot more effective with learning to actually practice the thing you're learning after you review it. Item number seven, visualize your why. This is a big one, you guys. You all had a reason to join this business, to join this career. So maybe you didn't want to work for someone else. You were sick of the nine to five. You were tired of not being paid what you're worth. Or maybe you wanted residual income or you wanted to retire with some more retirement than you were capable of getting at any other career. Or you wanted to retire your spouse, improve the quality of life for your kids. Or maybe you know someone who went through something really bad like cancer and maybe filed medical bankruptcy and you don't want that to happen to other people and you want to spread the word of what this policy can do and let people know it exists. Whatever your reason for starting here, your why can adapt and change many times. If you've been here for longer than a couple weeks or months, your why probably has changed a little bit. And that's totally normal, that's totally fine. Maybe your why is more specific for this week or this quarter. Maybe you have a certain goal for this train more. Or maybe for this quarter, you're really focused on earning I Dare You, or you're focused on getting a certain amount of folks to join the business, or you have some other reason to be working as hard as you are. Visualize that. Put that in front of you. Remember why you're doing this. Because a strong enough why will overcome any how, but if you don't have a why, it almost doesn't even make sense sometimes to be doing some of the things you have to do. So make sure you have something like that. Um, the thing about goals and whys is sometimes they're easier said than done. It's really easy to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go ride an eagle this week. But then if you're sitting here on Thursday and you're nowhere near your goal, we come face to face with it's going to take some work and some dedication to actually hit that goal. So keep this in front of you. Keep this in front of you. Write your goal and your why on your dashboard or on a piece of paper, <laughs> stick it on your dashboard, obviously. And then this is in front of you all day. This is something you're focused on. Keep this front and center 
And that way, when you're spending too much time in your car, you have that reminder, this is bigger than me. I'm doing this for a reason. And then just get back out there and just keep doing one more approach. Number eight, treat yourself. This is Casey's favorite, getting a coffee every once in a while, right? So a little caffeine never hurt nobody, right? If anything, maybe that'll give you a little boost, get some pep in your step for your next approach. Again, it's Friday, we're tired. We've been staying up late. We've been waking up early. We've been doing demos left and right. Guys, remember, you're out there doing an awesome thing, a very important thing. You're protecting families and you're making a difference out there, even if you don't realize it yet. If you haven't filed a claim yet, you maybe don't quite understand the scope of how important what you do is, but it is important. You guys are absolute rock stars and you absolutely deserve a little treat every once in a while. You know, sometimes the hardest part is just showing up and you already did that part. You're already out there. And remember, your prospects deserve the best version of you. They might only get one chance to see a demo. And if you're really tired and grumpy or hangry, they may not get the best demo. So do what you got to do to get yourself in the right headspace. Get yourself a little treat. Don't skip lunch. Have a snack. Have a coffee. And then get right back out there. And, uh, you know, keep showing up for people and showing up for yourself. Number nine is a training audio break. And now I know a couple of these suggestions have mentioned the word break, but I don't want you guys to get the idea that I'm saying just stop doing approaches and sit in your car and do a bunch of stuff, right? So there's 12 things on this list. And if you took a 10 minute break times 12, that's 120 minutes or two hours of lost field time. So obviously I'm not saying take two hours out of your day to do other things, no. Pick one or two of these that you think make sense for you for today based on where you are at mentally on this Friday on a train more, right? So some of you are probably taking that much time off anyway during the day, just not realizing it. You know, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, that adds up really quickly if you're just on your phone or procrastinating, getting out of the car, thinking too much. So we're not trying to avoid work. Remember, we, we're successful in this career by using our sales conversation and getting in front of people. OK, now, one thing you can really do to increase your attitude, make your attitude better is there's a certain training audio that I would recommend. So on the Elevators podcast, if you scroll all the way back to December 2 of 2021, the one I'm thinking of is called Choose Discipline by Amanda Arndt. So that's only nine minutes and 38 seconds long. So that's a perfect one to pair with your coffee run or listen to that when you're eating your lunch. Or this could be your guided meditation as you're, you know, closing your eyes and reframing your focus. So that's a super motivational but short training audio. And that's great for getting your head back in the right spot and getting yourself refocused and energized to get back out there and keep making a difference and protecting families. Number 10, another great way to hit reset on your week and kind of get the positive vibes um, out back out there. It's just to do a random act of kindness. And that's pretty easy to do as you're going about your daily workday. You know, we're walking into 25 businesses a day. You can definitely hold the door for someone. If someone's carrying a couple bags, you can offer to help. There's plenty of situations where you can offer to help somebody um, in one of the businesses that you're in. If you're buying yourself a coffee, you could offer to pay for the person behind you. You know, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. Yield to someone on the road <laughs> instead of having road rage. There's so many situations for you guys to just do something kind for someone with no agenda, not because you're trying to get them to sit down with you, but just because just because you're being kind. And that kind of puts positive energy and positive karma out into the world. And, you know, that doesn't hurt anybody. It's, it's good to have that stuff out there. The world needs more of that. Number 11, make a friend. So even though I've been talking about ways we get to spread joy to others, one of the best parts of this career is some of the cool people we get to meet, right? Sometimes we meet someone in the field who they brighten our day and they make our day a little bit better. So for your next approach, guys, instead of just looking at the prospect as a potential dollar sign, look at them as a human, look at them as a potential friend, you know, try and focus on connecting with them on a personal level. Most people that us and your prospects meet are, you know, self-serving and have an agenda and are trying to get something from somebody. 
So if you just genuinely focus on someone for a few minutes and let them know that, you know, you care, you're interested in them and what they have to say, that's a unique thing. People don't get to experience that all that often. Um, and sometimes when you're having a tough day, it's really especially beneficial to spend our time with other positive people. And they exist out there, guys. There's a lot of really, really cool people in each one of your territories. So remember the deck of cards analogy I always talk about. You're on a scavenger hunt for those aces. And when you find an ace, you're going to feel it. You're going to know because they make you feel happy and positive and they radiate positive energy just by being themselves. They're not doing anything special. That's just who they are. They're really cool people to hang out with. And those are the types of people we want to demo because they get it. And this just makes sense to them. Those are the people that we're looking for, especially here on a train more Friday. Remember if they're neg, shake a leg, <laughs> if they're not cool and open-minded, that's okay. You don't have to spend time with them. Go find those aces, go find those people who are going to get protected today. And then the final thing, um, when all else fails, phone a friend. Now don't call a friend to complain. <laughs> no, if you need to vent, call your trainer. We always say that, you know, complain upwards, not laterally. Remember, keep it positive with your peers. So imagine if you were having a tough day and then someone you went to sales academy with calls you to complain, you probably wouldn't feel that phone call. Well, you probably wouldn't leave that phone call feeling very good or really energized or ready to do a great approach. And remember, if you need help with something, if you're running into an objection that you're not sure how to handle, someone who graduated sales academy the same week as you may not be the best person to ask for technical advice. So if you need technical advice, or you know, you need to vent, call your trainer. But guys, phone a friend with the intention of raising their spirits and spreading positivity, even if you feel like you don't have a whole lot of positivity in the moment. You know, take an interest in their business, ask them about their train more goal, be an accountability partner, and encourage each other to finish the week strong. You know, you guys have got this. Find out what's been working for them lately. And guys, sometimes it's just nice to hear another person's voice because this business can feel a little lonely at times if we're working by ourselves. But we're, remember, we're not alone. We're in business for ourselves, but we're not in business by ourselves because there's tons and tons of other agents out there, even within this very agency. So you're never alone. There's other salespeople just like you who are going through the same emotions and the same stuff. They can relate. They get it. Uh, so feel free to reach out for a brief little chat if you feel like that would help raise your spirits and help you reset your week. And at the end of the day, guys, you know, stuff will always happen. You know, life will always happen to you. You could get a flat tire, a policy could cancel. You know, you might find out some bad news. Your phone might die. You know, who knows? Stuff happens all the time. And that's no excuse for letting it ruin your week. That's just life. That's just stuff happens. A lot of that is outside your sphere of control. And I promise you guys, even if you feel like you're having a day where everything's happening to me, right? That happens to everyone. Even our top producers. If you look at the train more flyers, the people who have, you know, written a triple Eagle this week, they did not have a perfect week. They had people tell them, no, they had inconveniences throughout their week. And the best train more stories and the best Eagles aren't really the ones that everything was fine. It's, the best stories is when success only happened after the agent beat some crazy challenges. And when you read those Eagles, you can usually find out that their week didn't go perfectly. It was a challenge, but they made it happen. And despite all odds, right? Remember guys, the difference between people who, you know, don't finish strong and kind of let their week collapse. And as opposed to the people who can hit a reset button on their week and finish strong with a good attitude is that they're practicing controlling the controllables. So at the end of the day, guys, what you can control is your response to what life throws at you. You can either take it as a negative and let it totally upset the apple cart, so to speak, or you can just be like water off a duck's back. It's just a little speed bump and we're gonna you know, go see the next person and it's gonna be great. So at the end of the day, believe in yourself. If cauliflower can become pizza, you can ride an eagle this week. You can do anything, be the person, you would want to have walking into your business today. So that's what I have for you guys today. Um, hope that was helpful. Don't forget to share your favorite Get Hype song in Voxer so that we can all listen to it. And I hope you guys have a great train more.
Thanks, Brad.